Hi, I'm Brian Davis from Seven Springs Mountain Resort Snow Sports School, and I'm here today to talk about riding a half pipe. For this, you're going to need a snowboard and a half pipe. Riding a half pipe sometimes intimidates people because of the fact that you're going up on a wall and it seems scary when you get up higher on the wall. The half pipe behind us is kind of small, so the height might not be intimidating, but proper usage of techniques in this half pipe will let you get into a larger pipe using the same plans, starting small and working your way up. Riding a half pipe is pretty much the same as the movements that you would make on a regular basic turn coming down a hill. The difference being that in the transition, the edge change from toe side to heel side, it happens in the arc of the turn as opposed to what you might consider the more traditional transition part of a turn. Coming down a hill, the turn shape is like this, and as you go here or here, the board changes edges. On the half pipe, it happens out here, but essentially the board still goes flat. As you come across the pipe from one side to the other, you're going to be on an edge. As you start up the transition of the pipe towards the vert, you're going to let the board go flat and ride up the wall, letting the forces of gravity turn the board for you, maybe using some overall body rotation and let the board steer around the turn by simply being flat on the wall. As it starts to head back down the wall to the transition, engage the edge, maintain your line across the flat bottom of the pipe to the other wall. And that's the way to ride a super pipe or a half pipe. 